Grammy Awards are this weekend on CCO, and as always, many of the nominees are from all around the world. But when singers from England or Germany or even Fargo belt out a song, something strange happens. So Lisa from St. Cloud and Marlene from Brainerd want to know, why does singing make an accent disappear? Good question. Jason DeRussia asked two classically trained singers. I am from Blackburn near Bathgate, West Lothian. It's a big town. When we first heard Susan Boyle speak, we didn't expect to hear her sing like this. My dream, the dream and time gone by. Who wants to be right to the rain? Is the surprise is the same in reverse. You hear the music of Adele. I'm starting to sink in now. I'm kind of like talking to people. And then hear that intense British accent. I've sung at the Metropolitan Opera. Audrey Stotler trains singers at the McPhail Center for Music. La, 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 la. I'm beyond help. When you sing, does yes. your Minnesota accent vanish? Yes. Why? Because when we speak, we don't use the same air pressure that we use when we sing. And this part of your throat expands, your pharynx expands this way, and this raises up. So you have a huge opening here. So when you sing your vowels, your vowels have a tendency to be more pure. Most of singing is vowels. You can't sustain a note on T, for instance. Dr. Bill Beeman is a linguist and an opera singer. Good question. <laughs> Not that you can compare Bill with the Beatles, but listen to the vowels. No accent there. The breathing, the training, isn't all that different. Plus... So when you're singing English, a uh, good composer, uh, like um, Cole Porter, for instance, uh, always makes the music follow the natural contours of speech. So even um, a Japanese or a Chinese person singing Italian sounds Italian. Is this something that singers learn? Yes, it is part of their process. It takes a great deal of time to learn it. It comes from learning breath support. All right, let's, let's take it from the top. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> One other fascinating thing about singing. Last night on American Idol, there was a contestant with Tourette syndrome who had a hard time speaking and no problem singing. That's right. And singing is a right-brained activity, they tell us. Speaking is left brain. When people have problems stuttering, for instance, therapists often tell them to sing what they want to say. Then everything's going to be okay.